something I've been strangely conscious of recently is how easily influenced am I? Just from a place of interest and curiosity really. Like how easily influenced am I by things like what other people think of me, other people's perceptions of me? Like is that influencing and affecting my behaviour? And if so, like to what extent? It's just something that I randomly have been thinking about recently, I don't know. Things like how much influence does what I feel like I should be doing, you know, at my age, in my gender, like fucking anything. Recently I've been kind of being curious a little bit about the choices that I make. How truly authentic to me are they or are they coming from? external places because you know there's influences absolutely everywhere and we're all going to be a bit influenced by what's going on around us you know who we're hanging around with there's like a million endless influences in the world and i think recently i've just been kind of questioning when i make a choice whether it's a huge choice or it's a tiny choice am i being as authentic to myself as i can am i listening to my own voice and making a genuine authentic decision even when it comes to just stuff like what you wear how you do your hair like you know anything it could be that or like whether or not you go to university i don't fucking know i always think it's important to question yourself and your choices and check in with the direction that your fucking life is going in is this something that aligns with me does this feel like it's coming from me or do i feel like i'm kind of doing this because i feel like i should be you know i always think it's good to be curious and to get used to tuning into your own kind of intuition and voice and and i think recently it's just been on my mind again and i think it's just really easy to to get sucked into just kind of mindlessly making choices that aren't necessarily coming from you and I think the issue with that is then your life isn't necessarily yours when it's lived like that. Hence why recently it's been on my mind when a choice, when a decision arises, whether it's small or big, usually small, like day-to-day -day choices I feel like are pretty small. I've still been checking in and making sure that the default voice that I'm listening to and that I'm going to mentally when I have to make a decision is my voice. And I'm not defaulting to what looks better, what do I feel like I should be doing, what's everyone else doing, look around at seeing what people my age are doing or what other girls are doing. You know, it's like defaulting to what feels right for me. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't listen to other people's thoughts and opinions and like block that out and the only voice you listen to ever is yours. That's not healthy either. But kind of just mean like your default voice that when without thinking about it you just naturally when you make a choice you know listen to and trust and that's kind of the first place your mind goes that's the voice that i want to make sure that's mine and then if i want to actively factor in other people's opinions that's completely different that's like an active choice but to default when you have to make a decision or form an opinion on something into immediately just thinking like what would my friend do what looks better what would my mom do blah, blah, blah. like i don't want that because I do think that is a big thing that influences people and that I try and keep in check like with myself where I'm like I don't fucking want that happening is how things look and how something might be perceived by other people swaying what kind of decisions you make even if it is just like what outfit do I want to wear on this date what do you want to fucking wear on the date you know I think subconsciously like without even noticing it's so fucking easy to get like swayed by other people and like wanting to come across a certain way rather than just being authentic and honestly one of the things that kind of like got me thinking about this was that i i live in quite a small town um i've talked about this before there's whenever you live in a small town i feel like a lot of people have this kind of like small town syndrome is that what it's called where people are kind of prone to like i don't know i think it's just like natural if you live in a small town and you're not being like super conscious of shit it's quite easy to become quite sheep-like and I, I don't know I feel like a lot of people kind of live in like autopilot a lot of the time in small towns um not necessarily just mine I think just in general when you live somewhere where everyone tends to kind of do the same types of things you kind of can just 
without thinking about it at all end up doing shit because everyone else is doing the same shit around you and that's why i feel like you can if you live in a small town be quite prone to just doing the same fucking thing as everyone else because i do think like i don't know if i'd say the majority maybe i would i don't know a lot of people do just kind of it just seems like they almost aren't questioning what they want to do they're kind of just doing whatever the fuck everyone else is doing again whether it comes to like bigger life choices or it's just like everyone's wearing the fucking same thing everyone's going to the same places everyone's dating the same people like it's just like a thing that happens if you live somewhere fucking small i feel like i don't know just from my experience it's something i notice a lot and um that kind of got me thinking about it i was talking to my mum about that recently we quite often just sit and observe shit and talk about it and something we were talking about is like how so many people are so scared to do this is kind of where it started and then it somehow turned into what i'm talking about now a lot of people are scared to do shit because it's like it looks weird or they'll be perceived this and we're saying like who gives a fuck like who actually gives a fuck and um <laughs> somehow we ended up talking about how easily influenced everyone can be and like how easily influenced do we think we are and by what i don't know the conversation went on for a while and then i was like podcast episode i honestly would love for my mum to come on this podcast but she would never but i feel like the more that you boil down your choices and where you think the push to do what you're doing is coming from where is the motive for me to do what i'm doing like where is it coming from is it coming from me like blah blah, blah. i think the more that you do that the more content you'd be with your life because i think when you do that less and less choices that you're making are gonna be coming from an inauthentic place the more you're gonna direct your life towards you know in the direction of what you actually fucking want and then life becomes a whole lot more fulfilling and purposeful is that a word probably um <laughs> and there's more intention behind everything and i think then you feel more satisfied with your life and more confident in the way that you live and I think then you feel a lot more comfortable as well doing something a little bit out of your comfort zone a little bit out of the ordinary maybe you know like I said I live in a small town if you wanted to do something that was a bit fucking like people are probably going to comment it's a bit out of the, like starting a podcast you know what I mean like that's not fucking normal where I live it's something a bit out of my comfort zone but because I know it's something that I'm really interested in and I'd really like to do it and it's fulfilling to me that immediately just like knocks down any care in the world about how it might make me be perceived does that make sense because I know that the choice is authentic to me and I know that I'm doing it because I love it and it makes me happy and it's what I want to do with my life and I don't really give a fuck about the rest because it's so aligned with me and that's why I think when the choices that you make you're making sure that it's aligning with what you want and who you are i think you care a lot less about how you're being perceived because that just seems like what's the fucking word um something damage collateral damage is that relevant have i used that right i don't know it just kind of seems like ah uh, which one's more important it's an obvious choice when you're like but that's really important to me i don't really give a fuck about the rest whereas when you're kind of making choices and you're not really sure where they're coming from they're not really that aligned with who you are it's just kind of there's a mindless element to it i think it's so easy then to be so conscious of how you're being perceived and then naturally you're way more influenceable because you'll you care about that a lot and then you end up making choices to make you be perceived a certain way and then it's like at that point it's not your fucking life do you know what i mean i think it's tricky because there's obviously a line because you don't want to shut off all outside influence and you know just completely only listen to your own voice because that i can see that going very wrong as well because you can learn from other people and take inspiration from other people as well that's another great part of you know having peers is that we can learn from each other but also share ideas and be like oh that's that's a good idea i didn't think of that you know if you're completely shut off to like i'm only doing what i want you could spend a lot of time wasting time when it's like just look around like learn from other people you know you know like other people can be such a positive source of inspiration so you don't want to shut that door completely to like anything external but it's kind of like a double-edged sword where 
if you don't have like a particularly rooted in yourself it can sway you a lot and i think you know i think looking at what other people are doing this is kind of like a whole different fucking point it can be positive but but it can also make you question yourself a lot which i don't think is necessarily great you know i think if you're fairly easily influenced it can potentially rush you or push you into things that you don't necessarily want to do hence why i think it's so important to check in with do i actually want to do this how does this feel to me what do i want because you might not even fucking want i feel like i've made this exact point in so many episodes but you might not even want to go traveling you might not even want a relationship you know that might not be a priority to you because everyone's different and if you don't know what's important to you and what your priorities are it's quite easy to copy everyone else because you don't fucking you're not rooted in what you want and i think that's quite tricky at this age because i know for me like I have a general sense of what's important to me and what I want with my life, 100%, but, like, my life plan <laughs> is so loose and it changes all the fucking time. Like, some days I'm like, I think I want, um, you know, to find a boyfriend and get a dog and do all that. Like, I just want to, like, move out and do that shit. But then sometimes I'm like, should I just fuck off to Italy for a year? Like, I don't know. You know, I think that's another way that it's quite easy to get influenced and pushed kind of into a life that you might not really know why you're in it and you're not super aligned with it you just kind of feel like you ended up there because you made a string of choices without questioning them and then you can end up i think that's why i don't know maybe this is like a bold statement but a lot of people end up doing jobs that they don't really like and end up married to people that they're like <laughs> we just i don't know i feel like some people just the way they talk about their lives they don't seem super fulfilled or like they've really chosen what they're doing they just kind of sound like they ended up doing it i feel like i've talked to people like that before and i'm like that's scary to me like <laughs> like i don't know to me and again each their own like i feel like i can only ever really speak for myself on this podcast i'm just sharing my thoughts you don't have to agree but um for me i I want to be really intentional about my life and, you know, who I spend it with, where I spend it, what I do. I don't want to just fucking end up somewhere and then at, like, 40 be like, wait, what the fuck am I doing? This is not what I want. This is never what I wanted. How did I get here? Like, I don't want to have that happen. That honestly is, like, a fear of mine. Maybe I'm too... Maybe that's why I... Okay, sorry, it's going into therapy. But maybe that's why I overthink things a lot and in the past i've had like a hard time making decisions because i'm so scared of making the wrong one because i don't want a, i don't want to end up li like doing something that i don't want to do or like making a choice where i've like fucked something up <laughs> well like i'm kind of maybe i'm overly intentional with everything i do i don't know <laughs> me and more i'll kind of like think about it too much because i'm so conscious of that the I don't know. I don't. I think that's like a fault of mine, though, because realistically, you don't know how things are going to play out. You don't know how things are going to go. All you can do is ask yourself: Does this align with me right now? Does this feel good to me right now? And is this what I want? You can't really answer for like. I can't answer for maybe what I would want in ten years. It's something that I've not even considered yet. I could that that would be so me, like typical of me because. I constantly have ideas and like random thoughts and I'm changing my mind on things. You know, it's like you don't want to, you don't want to be so mindless about your decisions that you're not fucking questioning them, you know, and you're not being intentional and you're, you're kind of in autopilot. You don't want to do that too much, but you also don't want to overthink it too much where it's like, you're not making a decision, you know, it's like you want to be in the middle. Sorry, I have no idea where this video is going or what the fuck I'm even talking about anymore this is just stream of consciousness at this point and nothing makes sense in here so this isn't gonna make sense but um but i don't know i feel like for me the main thing that i'm like i want to avoid that is letting other people's like perceptions of me affect how i live like if someone thinks something i'm doing is weird or they think what i'm wearing is fucking ugly i don't i don't want that to affect me not doing it i think that's kind of what i wanted to talk about today is how to not be too influenced by what other people think. But I've ended up talking about a million other things, apparently. But I feel like it's partly about having, like, a filtering system 
in your head like having almost like a a waiting room in your head of like people's voices and people's opinions and people's like unsolicited advice you know there's always you're, you're always gonna have other people's fucking like opinions on what you do people tend to give their opinions we all do i'm doing it right now like the world is full of that kind of input in your head and i feel like for that reason you need somewhere to store that information i feel like you almost need that like waiting room in your head where you get that input and that information constantly and you don't immediately absorb it and just alter yourself and your choices around okay someone said this so i'm just gonna mindlessly like oh someone said oh you don't suit those jeans i'm not going to immediately go home and fucking throw them out because i'm like great someone's insulted me they're going out i'm gonna like that opinion can be stored for a minute keep it there and kind of mull over it and maybe consider do i agree like do i also fucking hate these jeans have i just not noticed or maybe they're wrong and i disagree you know hold it there for a minute form your opinion question it because again you don't want to immediately be like fuck off to everyone that gives you <laughs> their opinion because sometimes people see shit that you don't it's good to like be open to whether it is constructive criticism or it is just random advice that people are shoving at you all the time it's good to be open to it i think the best kind of people are open to that um because you also don't want to be this is again a whole different fucking point but you don't want to be really fucking like thrown off and shaken by people maybe if you picked a university that you wanted to go to and you you really weighed out your options and you made the best choice for yourself you know and then maybe someone comes to you and says yeah i've heard that one's really bad but i'd never go there like i hate i hate that uni you don't want to like let people's opinions and judgments freak you out and shake you and make you think oh my god what am i doing all the time when it's like trusting your own judgment to an extent where it's like actually i've thought about it and i've weighed out my own options and right now this is what i want to do and this aligns to me and this makes sense to me and feels right to me and i don't know i'm the kind of person who like where like i love having other people's thoughts and opinions on what i'm doing sometimes but but at the same time if something you know is particularly cooling me for some reason i would rather try it even if like everyone's telling me that it's like a stupid idea i'd rather do most of the time i would rather listen to my gut and my intuition and if something feels right to me even if it's gonna go fucking wrong and i'm gonna end up you know being like yeah you were right i like to trust my judgment as much as i can like i can i can listen to people too though and just be like yeah you're fucking right like because sometimes i am quite like oblivious um <laughs> to a lot of things but like there is a part of me that's just like fuck it do you know what i mean like, it's me and me at the end of the day. And I quite often, depending on who it is, I quite often take it with, like, a grain of salt. I think that's kind of what I mean by having that kind of filtering system and that waiting room. Where it's, like, I I take it with a grain of salt in the way of I'm not going to immediately absorb anyone else's opinion and think that they know better than me. Because at the end of the day, I feel like it's me and me that's going to deal with my fucking choice. Obviously, it depends on what choice I'm making. But a lot of the time, I don't know, I feel like growing up now, I've kind of realised that, like, even if, like, your best friend or your mum or your boyfriend or someone, re you know, that's really close to you, I feel like I used to take their opinions of what I should do and what I should think and what relationship I should be in, blah, blah, blah. I would be like, oh, my God, like, my mum's told me this, or, like, my best friend said this, and, like, they know me really well and they're probably right. And, like, I didn't have that kind of, like center in myself where it's like the end of the day like it is my life and the same way i can give my best friend my opinion on what she should do but she knows better for her own choices than me in that way do you know what i mean like if she wanted to move away or she wanted to date someone obviously like i can have my opinions on these things but it is her life and she has her own intuition and if she's following that then she should and i think that's kind of how you make choices that feel quite authentic to you is you kind of have to have that ability to tune other people out sometimes and kind of be intentional with what you're going to take seriously and listen to and you know i think one of the best things honestly that i ever did is learn how to just 
fuck off and be in my own bubble and tune shit out when I need to and kind of mull things over on my own and kind of learn how to consult myself when it comes to making a decision and just kind of tune people out for a little bit and just be like let's just think about it myself a minute you know I think sometimes you need that silence I think it's essential to have that kind of silence and quiet time to be able to listen to your own voice like I think that's huge for when it comes to gut feelings and intuition um and working out what feels right to you I don't think you can do that if you're always around people and always talking to people and always asking people for their opinion and their advice I don't think that's the way to work out what you should be doing and what feels right to you I think that silence sometimes to be able to I don't know just space like go on a drive by yourself and just park somewhere and just sit in fucking silence like have some time where there's no, no input going in um and give your brain like a chance to breathe and like sift through all the fucking information and you know give it a chance to actually form an opinion of its own and work out what feels good to you because I think a lot of the time I know a lot of people my age or like in the past have, you know it's quite a common thing to be like I don't know what I want to do I don't I don't know what I want to do with my life I don't know what feels good I feel like everyone knows and no one fucking knows but I do think sometimes it's like if you spend all your time worrying about I don't know what feels good and I don't know what I want to do and you know you're telling everyone that and you're asking everyone what they should do and blah blah, blah. it's like you'd probably work out and come to that conclusion if you just chilled out and let yourself actually have some peace and space to actually let that kind of maybe come to you I think having that ability to be alone and have some quiet time and let yourself actually listen like I just I feel like half the time people don't know what they want is because they're not fucking like even trying to listen to themselves they're just going around going ah I don't know what I want to do and what do you think I should do and what do you and it's just like relax <laughs> I know that's fucking easier said than done I don't know I think if ever you don't know how you feel about something or you don't know what your kind of gut feeling is I'm always just like you need some quiet you need to be quiet you need to be in silence <laughs> like I'm speaking from experience like I fucking used to do that all the time I would ask everyone and their mother their opinion of what I should do and it's like you could do that for six months or you could just like walk to the beach or wherever somewhere peaceful and just sit for like an hour in silence and you'd probably get a fucking answer like I feel like it's not a coincidence that people think of their best ideas in the shower or on a walk or like somewhere where it's just like you're fucking chilling out do you know what I mean like no one needs to tell you these things I do feel like there's certain things I've noticed though that kind of fuel this fixation on how you're being perceived and fuel this kind of need to like appease I don't know like do what you think you should be doing all the time I think something that fuels that <laughs> if I want to say fuel one more time is being around people that are really gossipy and always kind of giving their two cents on everyone's fucking life and like what they're doing who they're dating what they're wearing again this is kind of why i think that small towns are, f are full of people that are like really easily influenced it's because small towns are also full of fucking gossips but i think being around people that that's kind of where the conversation goes a lot of the time you know i think that makes you hyper aware of what you're doing all the time and it makes you more prone to like putting on a persona and trying to come off a certain way because you're spending time with people that are critiquing people all of the fucking time and then it's like no wonder your brain becomes more aware of everything and more like hypersensitive to what you're doing it's like how people say if you're really critical and like judgmental about other people's appearances all the time those types of people also tend to be the most harsh and critical about themselves when they look in the mirror because your brain just gets used to looking at things in a negative critical judgmental light and if you're doing that with other people all the time you're going to do the same to yourself do you know what I mean and that's why I feel like the people that don't really comment on other people and are just like not very judgmental and you know nice in that way they tend to be a bit nicer towards themselves too because it's like generally they go together because your brain gets used to you know working in a certain way so it's like the same rule applies if you're hanging around people all the time 
talking shit about everyone's life choices and what they're doing and what you think they should be doing and that you don't like this and judging them and oh did you see she did that and oh. then then you're gonna be so prone to being so fucking hyper conscious and aware of what you're doing and how it's coming across and how people could perceive you because you're spending all your time judging everyone else so then you start thinking well, fuck what does what i'm doing look like whereas if you kind of let everyone else do what they want and mind your business i think you give yourself that same grace do you know what i mean where you're like they're on their own path i don't fucking care if someone does something i think is a bit weird it's not my fucking life you're not thinking that way so you kind of forget that anyone else does either which is quite nice ignorance is bliss in that way because <laughs> you know the people that i if I think about it, the people that would come to mind for me that I'm like, they're quite easily swayed and influenced and, you know, quite clearly are making choices because they're trying to come across a certain way. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, whether it's dressing a certain way or, you know, you can just kind of tell when some people I'm like, you're not being authentic. There's no fucking way. You know, when I think about that, those kinds of people they're also the kinds of people who tend to have their nose in other people's fucking business too do you know what i mean i do think it goes hand in hand like the most judgmental people are the people who are so easily swayed to just do what fucking like comes across as cool or interesting or like everyone else is gonna like it when it's like if you don't judge other people's fucking life choices you'll probably end up doing more of what you want too i just feel like that kind of makes sense to me <laughs> i don't know it's just kind of something that I've noticed an observation of mine. I think it makes sense. Like, you know, like if you spend time around people who are quite hyper judgy and critical of people, you're you're just going to naturally become quite hyper aware of like, well, what the fuck am I doing? Like, what does that look like? Because my friends are sat here critiquing them and I actually didn't even think there was a problem with that. But now I'm questioning myself. It kind of uses that muscle, that judgmental muscle in your brain that if you weren't using, you'd probably just get on with your life too. And be a lot happier then in turn be making choices that feel better to you and are more authentic to you rather than factoring in everyone and their mum's fucking opinions on what you're doing you know because if you're doing that there's just no way you're going to be doing something that feels good to you because you're thinking too much about it you know and how it comes across i don't know just a thought i'd been having <laughs> but i'm gonna go home and eat it's what's the time 3 30 I was not expecting that. So I need to go home and eat because I've barely eaten anything today. And I'm meeting my friends in a couple of hours, so I need to eat. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for listening. Again, I feel like I say this at the end of all my episodes, but I feel like this episode was a mess more than the average. I don't know what the fuck I said. I went so off topic. But sometimes I feel like I just need an episode where I'm just absolutely making no sense and just speaking my mind. Because where else am I going to do that, you know? That's basically what this podcast is. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening. And I will talk to you next week.